geometry we'll call chord nu. If I, I think already you have discussion. So let, let me just summarize once. This is a particle. This is a radius R. Let this be X. <coughs> let this be smaller. Let this be Y. Now how the gravitational force will act on the particle F, let this be theta. This is a particle of mass M, that of the earth, let it be M or M naught. First, first we'll have a background, then then it'll be easy to, don't, don't, don't directly jump to the problem. If I slide, if the particle is here, net force will be zero equilibrium. If I slightly displace and release, it's going to execute SHM. And we know that amplitude of oscillation is independent of amplitude. So you displace this by R by two or whatever the length here. It's going to execute SHM because it is independent of Y. The amplitude of oscillation is independent of Y. That is what we are going to prove it. Then what is the acceleration? MA should be equal to F cos theta. What is F? M into E into cos theta. The gravitational field at the M will get cancelled. So E is what? G M naught R cube into smaller. Gravitational field strength inside the solid sphere. Cos theta. Cos theta will be Y by smaller. That will get cancelled. G M naught by R cube. And always that acceleration opposite to displacement. So therefore the time period is given by two pi. Better do remember, or this will become two pi r square. So this will be r by g. But is g is equal to So now, is it independent of X? X, yes, it is. Either the chord is like this, or like this, or, or like this, or even X equal to zero. If the if it is the tunnel is along the diameter, the time period of oscillation is given by this particular formula. <coughs> I, I think it will come 84.6 minutes. Am I right? Agreed. So th there's a background. Now, now you read the question and try to analyze. It's very simple. whether the chord is present in this way, or I'll, I'll give the some supportive diagrams. The dot will not go. Mm. Yeah. Uh, if the if the chord is like this, huh? if the chord is like this, some some way, <coughs> I'll I'll make it problem a so little bit simple. Mm. Just see now. This will be the radius. That this this one only. Now here the particle is here. Particle is here. You are going to displace it. What will happen to particle? It's like due to switch. There's a tunnel. There's a hurt. Fine. If the particle is a slightly displaced, it's going to execute a switch. It doesn't depend on length of this tunnel. Whether you action this or let it be this much, it doesn't matter. I think it's going to help us a lot. Fine. So there's a point to already we have this one, I'll, so this in. So what is the time period of oscillation from B to O? Will be same thing, one fourth of this. What is capital T time taken like this here?
Okay, no. So let me just conclude. Time taken to move from O to B should be equal to T by four. Time taken to move from B to O. <coughs> Time taken to move from A to B. This should also be T by four. But we have some uh, inelastic collision. Something is saying. So here, as the particle moves, it will collide inelastically and will come to rest. Then again, the electro set. Uh, so this one gravitational force will act, and it will make the particle to move. So what type of motion here will be accelerated motion? Speed will increase, so it will collide. So what all energy is there? Kinetic energy it will lose here. No, it has come to instantaneous rest. Again, what happened? The gravitational force field will act and it will accelerate. Then, then if the tunnel were extended further, like in the problem, no, so it will exit a section. Since since it is asking time taken to move from B to O, so will be this one. Time to time to fall from A to B should be equal to pi by two. And time taken to move from B to O is also pi by two. Okay, this is ruled out. This will pick up. Then afterwards, speed just before eating B is with what speed it will come and strike? How to? Bring... Zero mega. Can we? Can we? Uh, do we know amplitude? Four R by five. And do we know omega? We know omega, so a omega, or else no, sir. I don't know S H M. What you should do? You must calculate the potential at this point, the potential at this point, then apply conservation of mechanical energy. I'll I'll bring both ideas. So what is the expression for speed at B should be equal to amplitude. Amplitude will be And what is omega? Omega is what we have here, no? This is speed. Huh? So, what is our entire formula? Formula will be. Let me start it here. Okay, this will be the option. Or, or else, or else, what you should do? Potential m into potential at a should be equal to m into potential at b minus plus m into v b square. Capital letters, small letters. Try to notice. What is potentiality minus g m not by r? That on the surface, potential at b. You know formula. Anybody? G m by two r cube into three r square minus x square. G m not by two two r cube. Huh? Three r square minus x square. If you put smaller zero, it is at center. No, one point five. I I think r small r square minus capital minus three r square. Minus will come out. Minus will be outside. So these are potential. Substitute this. So what is smaller? Smaller should be three r by five. Then we'll get the potential. And what 